And we're back. We are back. Scoozle's been doing things. I mean, Holt. Yeah, I, I, I did a quick sight into the future to see what else we can do to prepare for assaulting the Chaos Threat on this planet. Okay. So, you read the Emperor's Tarot. And basically, you need... What, what it tells you is that you need to uh, be able to... Uh, you, you basically need to be able to do what you can to assist the Engel forces and, you know, upgrade them as best you can, to pro provide them support by bringing in extra troops, do whatever you can to turn the tides of each of these battles while you're, uh, while you are getting ready for specifically taking out the leaders of the Chaos, because once they are gone, it's going to be just the enemy troops without much guidance anymore. At least without the extra support. At that point, the war will be on much even footing. Alright, well, I'll, I'll let everybody know that that's what I've seen for our future. I roll my eyes a lot. Okay, you wouldn't happen to see where they're hanging out, if they're in their ship, or if they're somewhere else? Uh, I could do another test if you wanted me to. I could tr look again. If you have the time. Yeah, this takes a minute, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, and then uh, because I did that for myself, I get I can take a plus 10 on any number of tests equal to my PR for the next month or until we've cleared out the chaos. Damn. Okay. So I'll okay. do this one for Knorr because he's asking me to specifically where they might be. It's very exciting because map tool is. Uh, oh, is okay. So I got twelve degrees of success. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I think I that's asked. enough to be able to find all of them. Okay. So, uh, you you see that you will be able to find the space marine on. Di directly on a field of battle. You will be able to find the Psyker close to a field of battle, commanding the troops. You will find the Tech Priest within the uh, capital city of the enemy. And there's a fourth figure that sort of... Y you feel like there's someone else. You you're not exactly sure. There's no it's not someone you've seen before, and it's not someone you can see clearly, but you feel like you'll you'll meet them off-planet in space somewhere. Okay. Great. So there's somebody outside providing side reinforcement, basically. Uh, well, so... you also get that, Kanor. So you can take a plus 10 to any test for up to 10 tests. Okay, um... So, that whole for... take out the three guys on the thing... Yeah, I think when there's to... another one. Yeah, we need to do it reverse now. I it seems like taking out the psyker would be the best start because if yeah, they're on I... the same battlefield, we don't want to deal with the with the chaos uh, marine while the psyker sends horrible things at us. I, I think also taking out the tech priest could be easy because we can just teleport over to the location that he'll be. With, the, in the, the vague the, location, at least. Here's the thing, though. Like, we've killed the tech priest, like, twice already. I don't really but, trust but us to be able this to... This time we, we kill him and we actually destroy his remaining stuff. Unless he teleports away again. Yeah, unless he teleports away again. Is I there think any the way site... you can block the teleporter, Grun the Marek? Not as far as I have the ability, no. But if it's even possible. We just have to kill him before he gets away. Cause it, so, so with our teleportarium under the city, can we teleport anywhere, or can we just teleport to known to the other ship that has a teleportarium? It, so, yours is actually ac 
active now. It's not just being used as a coordinate pad. So you, you could theoretically use it to teleport just about anywhere, but you have to have detailed information about the coordinates there. Yeah, right. but shouldn't... So based on the fact that we do we do get kind Angle of up-to-date have... information about where battles are taking place, right? Yes. So we should be able to, if if we scan those, we should be able to pinpoint where they're actually horrors attacking. And then based on that intel, we should be able to get some kind of idea where in the vicinity the Psyker might be. And then we can teleport there. Uh, the problem is we won't be able to teleport out. So if we get into trouble, Correct. we're basically screwed. Yeah. On top yeah. of that... Un, un, I can't guarantee that I can power it myself again. It is no, but quite you've a been... draining and risky task. And also, from the city was the plan. We only yeah, have a day might... before the city burns out if yeah. we power it from the city. Yeah, but that that plan was for us to teleport a shit ton of troops into the ship. Yes, that's 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 true. That's and... the only using it like constantly to continue continuously yeah, yeah. transport a lot of people so into it. I I'm assuming that if we just teleport a smaller troop with us and some murder servitors that would be we wouldn't burn as much energy or power correct yes uh, I, don't, I still don't know uh, how still, well it's still risky you still yeah, have cool. Sigmund on uh, Damaris as well who's waiting for instructions from you yeah uh, has he uh, well I mean what what has he been able to find for us? Uh, well, I mean, th there are some troops ar around if you wanted to try mm -hmm. to get some, but you'd have to be able to have a way to get them to you. Um, it, well, you know, if that's that's the thing I worried about. The, the, the well, two things: the cost and then the actual length of travel to get over here, which is not going to be super fast because he doesn't have a fast ship. Whereas we do. Um, Anadar, you are you're the you're the guy who knows mo most about war tactics, right? Mm -hmm. Especially these weird raids with fewer people. Yeah. Uh, so t -t 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 I was going to ask you something about uh, about about that, but I've forgotten what's <laughs> now. I'm sure I'll, I'll remember it soon again. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, so, based on the amount of troops and the amount of aggressive attack from our enemies, how long can Angle? Angle. Angle yeah. hold? Like, wh when are they run over? Okay. Uh, I, does Vindigroth have common law war to help me on that? Uh, yeah, Vindigroth can yeah, help you. He does. I can plus... tell you to do it. Good. Okay, so that's plus 20. Sure. Do I have a wall? Ooh. Well, it's common lore, so... So you have it, but untrained. I no, doesn't he... Can't he do everything wall. because of his Seneschal? Yeah, yeah, but it's untrained. untrained. Oh, it's so untrained. he has it, yeah. so he has it at half. I actually have the full thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. That's how... Yeah. Okay. The, good roll. Um, yeah, six degrees of success. Uh, with everything going on, if, if things stay exactly the way they are... Uh, angle probably won't last six months. I say that. Yeah. Now, how so we have how, time. How long would it, to it take? Well, there's still the weird thing that's counting down for three weeks. But are we assuming that's to well, do? It's going to be two weeks now. Yeah, from the people coming to fetch the uh, tech adapt thing yeah uh that is that is my hypothesis is that it's countdown to the arrival of the scutari forces which are here for this data module yeah would they be able to help us with anything else or no it depends on if i can convince them to do so they can be rather one-minded and stubborn at times but this well, i'm forge. sure they'll have to get the forge Yes, I, we, have a big, we, have, we have a bargaining chip with the Forge and the STC that could possibly uh, bring to our side. As well, I do have a message from the Mechanicus saying that they're sending a Mechanicus vessel out, out to help me identify and work with the Forge, but they won't be here for at least a month. Um, so, 
how long and how much would it cost me for Sigmund to get, uh, well, the amount of troops we would need for a larger push? Well, it depends on the type of troops you want to get. If you want to get a lot of just regular Imperial Guardsmen or a few small, you know, a smaller company. Well, I, I'd prefer to just better. go down and in Surgeon Group and just take out these three plus one, one at a time. Uh, and in those cases, getting Imperial Guard wouldn't really help me, right? Well, there, there's different, there's different, like, more veteran guard troops are useful, but they're not all cannon fodder. Like, the more elite guard units are actually effective fighting forces. But, like, yeah, no, but we, I'm, have, I'm we have to make a decision between the quality of the troop and the amount. We well, want. no, I'm, I'm, that's not what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. If our plan is to attack, for example, the Cycler first, then how, how much, how would it help us if we actually had more troops, since we'd only be able to teleport a smaller troop anyways, that would then have yeah, to Yeah, I think, and... I think fewer elite forces would be better than... Yeah, but how much better would they be than just dumping some murder servitors in the middle? Against the Psycho, probably the murder servitors would be better. Yes, yeah. but we also don't have that many murder servitors. Like, we don't have thousands of them. No, but we're, I'm not... like. I wouldn't throw a thousand, th thousand murder servitors against the Psyker anyways if we had them, because it's going to take too it's going to take too much time to ship them over, and we can't teleport that many because then we'd have to leave the teleportarium open for longer, which would burn burn out the power grid. And so, then there's a bunch of murder servitors we can't call back somewhere. And you guys seem to be against collateral damage for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Well. Depends on um, what, what collateral. I mean, Angle does have means of moving troops around, but it's yeah. you know it's not as fast as teleporting. But uh, yeah, and I'm I'm thinking if moving. if we actually do a high tech assault, where we find uh, in on the battlefield where we find the the horrors, the psyker would just retreat. Because why fight when there's a, why fight us when they're easier target around you keep. They know the planet a lot better, and they they probably have faster, they have better mobility than we have, anyways. So they're going to um, try to fight us for the same reason we're trying to fight them, and that we are the primary opposing force at this point. Yeah, but the the difference is they don't really need to fight us because they can. I mean, they're if they if they get the planet, if they if they wipe out Engel, it's like the long the more time they have. The more time they have to corrupt uh, people on this planet, we, it's not like we can come down and anti-corrupt people. So, like, they don't. That's correct, I don't, but I don't see how they would suffer from actual extension of the war, whereas we would, because we. I agree, are but we have limited. to. Like, if we're just going to assume they're never going to face us in combat, how are we ever going to fight them? Well, that's what I'm saying. We have to sneak up on them by getting like a good estimation on where they are and then teleport in as a strike team yes okay i thought that's what you meant by a high-tech attack uh no uh with high-tech attack i just meant getting uh, uh like uh actual proper troops and then sending them in to a uh to, on the battlefield and push back the uh, the enemy forces Well, well I, we, I mean, we, troops, yeah. troops, even if they're not with us, are going to have a positive effect. You know, the there's there's a level of experience in veteran guard troops. They could be put into commanding roles. They could reinforce weak points on the line. Like, we still have a use for troops with better equipment and more training than the people of Angle. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but with that argument, you can you can make the argument that the, it's always useful to have better trained troops, and of course, of course it is. But then it's that's not the the issue is that if we strike on our own with merger servitors, we can do that in a few days. But if we're waiting for guard troops, that's going to take like a month or something to get well, here. Which and I agree would, with you, but I don't think that's a reason to not acquire the guard troops. I definitely we, we think it is. Both. If 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 
Engel is going to lose the war heavily for a month. We lose a lot more in that month than we would by having a certain amount of guard troops on the ground afterwards. I'm saying that we do the surgical strike and hire the guardsmen. I don't see why hiring the guardsmen means we have to wait. Because it, well, like, if we end up succeeding and we don't need them, then what was the point of hiring them to be? Exactly. With? I'm not going to spend. We have them in the future. No, that's not how it works. We if if I hire them, them the I have to pay the them. Pardon? We still need them for like the security of the planet after the yeah. war's won. And and that's actually how the acquisition works. Like you are setting up the contract. You you have to pay them behind the scenes. Yes, but it doesn't actually cost us profit factor. Of course, it yeah, costs yeah, yeah. profit factor. <laughs> well, the, uh, Grunty is right about that. It's it's uh, a, a, as far as acquisition rules and game rules. It's are like concerned. acquiring a new piece. Wait, of Wait, are you are you saying yeah. I can acquire them for free by rolling against my acquisition? Yeah, it's an acquisition. You are acquiring a guard troop. Yeah, well, the, that's the, actually how it mechanically works in the rules. That is, that. wow. That. Remember, then what's even, the, like then then well, what's even the point of having this discussion? If it's a, if it's a die roll, it's a die roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I was coming yeah, from. Yeah, you should have just said because I was under the impression that since we're hiring them, it's going to cost us. Uh, it's going to cost us great no. profit factor. No, it's, no, the, it's no. the same way. Like you, you do an acquisition roll for crew on your ship. It's the same sort of thing. Right. Basically, <laughs> everything, everything, all of your like petty expenses, like paid salaries and stuff. That just happens. Acquisitions yeah, that's, is like... That's... No, it doesn't. It's a very hard job. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's a very <laughs> highly trained idiot to do it. Yeah, but I mean, if we if we were buying extra ships, that would actually cost us profit factor, right? Nope. Ye well, yeah, no. So, no, it's it's so monumentally expensive and difficult to right. get. That... And, and you can burn profit factor to get bonuses, but no, if you rolled a one, we could... Acquire a ship, and that doesn't. Uh, change your then factor. let's just let's just roll and see what we can find because we're not going to find. We're going to roll badly, anyways. Well, we need to decide what we're going for. Like yes. the modifiers on the roll depend on how many we want and what level of quality we want. Well, I mean, since since we're not going to use them for the surgical strikes because it's going to take too long, we're going to use them to, to secure the planet. We should get the ones that we a need for that. Amount of regular guys. I guess. Uh, All right, let's see the I book. Might I, might I suggest professionals? Uh, that seems good. This was what Battlefleet Coronas? Yeah, uh, Battlefleet Coronas, page one twenty-six for the buying troops. Professionals are soldiers who have seen their share of combat and have made the waging of war their chosen profession. Professionals compose the junior officers and more decorated, and experienced units within the Imperial Guard, as well as many mercenary companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get some professionals. All right, so if we're going to get professionals, that means we probably only want to get... Uh, what's the modifier on professionals? Minus Negative 10. 10. So we oh, want... Oh, shit. Uh, That's not good. What? Because what's our profit factor? Like 46 or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we're not rolling that. Well, well, keep in mind that you can, you can get a plus get 10 from a fate point, and then also a plus 10 from the thing I gave you. And it depends on how many we're getting as well. Okay. Yeah, so uh, where's the numbers again? Like, minus 10 makes them the equivalent of, what, a rare item? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where the heck is the unit power? Yeah, so you need to figure out what, uh, what designation and tech level of units you want as well. Like, are these light troops, medium, heavy? Do you want them to have like better technology, completely modern worth stuff? Well, I mean, they only have to keep uh, keep control over a low tech planet. Or so... do you want them to? Yes, are but they're they, fighting are they just... modern tech enemies. Yeah, are are, are you? No, are you buying no, 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 just no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We're not hiring the ones that are fighting. The assumption is that while we're waiting for them to get here, or at least that's my assumption, so you need to correct me if you, if you have another idea. But the thing that's in my head currently is that while we're waiting for these troops to get here, we would be making surgical strikes to try, try and take out the three Chaos leader that's on the planet, at least. Yes. 
which would mean, based on, uh, well, assumptions and what Holt has told us, that the um, once they've been removed, the, the playing field would level again. It would be yes. more level, but it, do it doesn't mean that the equipment that they've got, all those cool last guns that are right. just better, just, they don't just suddenly disappear. Exactly. Like, Clark still, still has still have technological that stuff. Yeah, but that's fine. Well, I'm just saying, like, we we want Imperial Guard, that means modern tech. And, yeah, yeah we probably just need infantry. We don't need... Sure. So that's uh, minus 10 for professional, minus 10 for modern tech, zero for infantry. And then light, medium, or heavy? I mean medium, I would I would say. Okay, so you're at minus 30 total. And, well, no, I guess we could go light. What's the difference? Uh, it, it changes the unit power, which is basically when, you, when two units fight, they just roll their unit power against each other, and then it decides who mm -hmm. wins. And those, uh, the... We get plus three. Anadar, since, since you've been looking at the, uh, you've been looking at the war, the, um, the uh, regiments that have the actual, you know, modern tech weaponry and stuff, what type of, uh, unit would you say that they were, light, medium, or heavy? What would I say? For uh, just the regular guys? Yeah, or... other than roll my eyes and say they're all garbage because it's human tech. No, medium. Okay. So that probably means we should have medium too? If you're going to try and fight them, I would say, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I I'm going to assume that we they have, have the... Go on. They have, they have a, a, you know, a full mix of units, and it's an entire army. So, but wow. like, their the, the regular guys are just the medium medium infantry. Yeah, but I'm talking about the, the, the units that have the actual modern tech. Not the uh, the things that we they, they still they still have them they still have them organized into different sets of units and different companies of people and as well you know moving around with tanks and stuff, but their regular standard infantry is medium infantry. Yeah, I think then, based on all these minuses and stuff, we you're gonna you're gonna have to burn the profit factor or we're not making the roll at all and there's no point yeah. even trying. Yeah. So, why can't so, I find the so what's like, the, the what's the modifier? math on this roll here? Like, what do we need? If if we burn profit factor, how how much how much of a boost do we get on the roll? Uh, it's plus ten for every profit factor you burn, I believe. Oh, uh, that's super expensive. Okay, so. Um, so you burn a fate point. You use the thing that's plus twenty. Icarus. Can you, can you do the do the math economy wise on how much our profit factor would increase if we actually managed this whole endeavor with uh, uh, getting rid of chaos and then actually putting a planetary governor on the planet? Worst case scenario with us having to blow most of the planet up, or best case scenario? Or Middle. Middle case scenario. So do both and then divide by two. Yeah. Okay. Basically, just the planet, not the forge. Um, let's see. Trying to figure because out what because we're now this is just on the quantity table yet. I don't see it. Now well, this is just we're at like we're we're at minus thirty for a hundred and minus forty for a thousand. Where is what page is the table? I'm on? just going by the by the crazy. by the normal. Oh, table. that's right. Yeah, that's right. I can evaluate a planet, right? Oh, that's evaluate four degrees of success. Sorry, five because I've got five. a statistical test. Okay, so you're trying to figure out just this planet, no other modifiers on average. How much profit factor is this going to bring you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A full planet uh, that you you know is at an older level of technology, but could pretty easily be upgraded. Um, you're looking at about maybe eight to ten profit factor base, and then plus one or two every so many months, depending on how you upgrade it and how the chaos insurgents continue to be yeah. problems annoying. <laughs> 
Okay, that means that we can actually burn some profit factor on a calculated risk. But so if we, we... want to go for a thousand, then. <sighs> I mean, if if we do this, we are kind of committed to getting this planet, basically, which seems like a good idea, to be honest. Mm, agreed. Okay, so a thousand professional medium troops would put us at a thousand what? professional modern infantry mm -hmm. medium. Mm -hmm. So that's minus 40, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's minus 40, and then you're plus 20 from your fate point, and you're, yeah. you're plus 10. So that puts you at a 24 profit yeah. total. Uh, and you, you said you're going for a battalion? Also, yeah. So people? Yeah. So that means I have to burn, like, seven? Three profit factor just to get a 50-50. Yeah, that's not happening. We, we need to make this roll. So that would put us at, like... And if I burn a profit factor beforehand, can I still burn a profit factor to re-roll it once I roll 99? You can... You uh, can faint, use a faint, faint point. point. Oh, yeah, faint point, sorry. Maybe Icarus point. should yes. get on the phone and do some commerce with some people. Yeah, he does need to do his modifier thing, too. He can knock a couple points in there. My, my bartering. Yep. You get on the big telephone. Mm -hmm. I, I, could, I could do that. Do that. Maybe call in our Arbites friends. Maybe they know somebody. Maybe they know some mercenaries who do, do good, good work. And we've got so we can get some nice friendly modifiers to it. Some nobles could make that you know could maybe mm -hmm. pull out their business cards. We need to pull all our strings. Yeah, uh, I have. What is it that I have? Right, I have. Um, peer nobles, nobles of Calixus. Yeah, I have I peer, peer nobles in the Calixus sector. Can I can I use that to get a better deal? Mm, this okay. isn't the Calixa sector that you're trying yeah, to buy right. troops from. Mm. Although they may have interests in Cronus expanse. The nobles. They might, they might like, whoever different. they get their PDFs from, maybe. Maybe they know some mercenaries or whatever who do good deals. Okay, I'm going to go through my roll of decks and see if I can, if, if I have anything, but... Um, six, uh, I'd be six, your six barter reasons. is for... Bartering a better see. deal. Yeah. Barter is opposed, correct? Yep. Hey. Okay. Barter uh, with the old IG captain or whatever. In charge of the horse. Colonel. Oh, while this is being looked up, I had sent a message off to the Ordo Hereticus asking for assistance. And, uh pretty much just bad news because they'd have to send somebody from the Calixus sector they're like three to four months away minimum okay. well it's better than nothing so yep. I think they should send them and they would only actually do it if the need was great so if they showed up and we had already solved the problem uh, it would be really bad for us because we'd basically have just wasted an inquisitor's time for eight months uh, what, they're not going to be interested in making sure all the heresies stomped out on this new Imperial uh, Apparently, world? the Inquisition are all fucking really stupid. <laughs> yep, so so what you're going to do so... is you are going to uh, you're going to send a message back to them and tell, tell them what our resources are currently and that we're hoping to hire this, this amount of infantry to take over the planet the, and give them up-to-date information what the situation on the planet is then it's up to them if they want to come over here or not. With, of course, the implication that if uh, if we can't deal with it, they already they've from the start known what the situation is. So and then it's uh, on them and not and us. And a lot of very powerful people would find out that the Inquisition just went, "No, we're not dealing with this because we're spiteful for some reason. Yeah. We hate John." And for that, we're going to give up an well, entire planet's worth me, of Well, these guys don't hate think. Well, apparently no. they do. Yeah. They don't, well, but or, it's also like, or if they... we can't take care of it, then there's no point in them even... Like, well, they, they, they have... Gonna, they, like, they, they would, still they, gonna they, want to hunt down They anything. would only show up 
th they would only show up if we actually cannot and we had to leave. Well, no, what no, we're all that's dead, not. So I'm sorry, that's not how the world works. Yeah, that's, it that's, might be. Yeah, that's not how the. It the might world be how the world works the for the Inquisition, works. but that's not how the world works for us here. So send them the information we have. And that that cannot be how the Inquisition works, or otherwise the Imperium of Man would have fucking folded twenty thousand years ago because they're like, oh, a chaos planet, you, chaos on a planet, you say? Well, uh, you deal with it. Uh, how long? It's, I mean, we, it's also for us case to help, of... just like four months to help. Well, I guess we'll just have to let that planet fall. Sorry, and then they lean back in their also, chair and wait, and it's I like, mean, no. Regardless, that's not how it works. Regardless of how little they want to help. Even if we succeed here, which of course is the plan, this is still a planet that has been tainted by chaos, and they probably exactly. should get over here and clear that up. Because yeah, we're gonna like, need some exactly. help. Even if they I even mean, if they don't want to help us directly doing it, they have to there's things that happen afterwards that only that only they can do. Like they have to come here and do that anyway. I, be, just, I, I yeah. believe your barter test, if I'm looking at this right, I think you get two profit factor for each. Uh, I, I believe so, to extra degree of success. In yeah, so you're going to get plus 10. Nice. Okay, so hang on. So we're up to we're up to plus 30 with my fate point, the manifest divining thing, and the bartering. Which so, means, 34? Yeah. Rolling at a 34, yes. So, if, With we every to, roll. if we want to be up at 94, I'd have to spend 6 profit factor. Well, Correct. if you're fainting, you can re-roll. So it's two thirty fours right now. Yeah, but holy shit, have you seen my rolls lately? Yeah. <laughs> we could and do 5, that gives you an 80. Like, that's... Two eighty. I don't. I don't want to really burn like that much. Things. Like I want to burn like one or two. Max. Well, the thing. The, no, well, the thing is, low. it's 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 not a case of. We're at forty three, right? What? You're, yeah. At four. You're at thirty four. No. Oh no! Like our base rate is forty four normally. It's forty four. Yes. Yeah. Like, what if we burned the four to make it a nice even forty, and then we go up to. So then we're at seventy. Four. Then we're two seventy percent is really likely to happen. I yeah. Believe, statistically. Well, to you be fair, the captain's also failed like I, oh, I've yeah, crashed I know. in a row. I know. I've I've crashed into a planet. I'm okay with spending five or six and just making sure this happens. I mean, if 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 the implication is that if we actually succeed, we'd possibly we'd pro normally get an increased prof profit factor of was it eight? Eight yeah. to ten. Yeah. Yeah, eight to ten. <laughs> then I draw. Depending if we win the war. Well. Yeah, like, I we mean, might have to blow it and then it's sunk, but then that's fine. Well, but here's the thing, like, as long as they don't all die, we still have the troops. Yeah. Like, so yeah. this is, we are acquiring something and keeping it, provided yeah. they don't all, all just fucking die. I yeah. think we should, I think we should, um, let's burn a five, so we're up at 84. I'm okay with this. I'm not okay with this. So we'd be down to 39. Uh, Keep in mind that the spec trade is off as well, which gives you an additional four, but that you're not using at the moment. Yeah. And and we can also start taking stuff out of Sigmund's Fall instead of reinvesting it constantly. So yeah, it's especially not... now that we have a nice planet, possibly. Let's just... Well, actually, both of them are kind of fucked up for different reasons. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling against 84, so we're... I'm burning five. You're burning, you're burning five? All right, so I'll change this. Uh, also, I need to use a fate point. Okay. I am I am so super fucking sure I'm going to fail this. Here we go. <laughs> hey! <That's>... Hey! <laughs> In the message to the Inquisition. Uh-huh. In the message to the Inquisition, definitely make it clear that if they don't send someone to help... You'll broadcast it everywhere that you told the Inquisition there was a chaos incursion on a planet, and then they did well, all I mean, they could to not come and help. Okay, so from from uh, John Silkernicus' perspective, that's always implied when he's sending too much information. <laughs> yeah, but these guys are apparently all really stupid and don't understand anything at all. Okay, like so apparently, the Inquisition are the like the hugest idiots of all time. 
Yeah. Here well, so is... you should probably make that explicitly am, clear I to am, them. I am. I am gonna. I am gonna word it in such a way that it's implicitly clear without it looking like I'm t uh, telling possible. them that they're fucking idiots. Because I should have a high possible? enough fellowship to be able to do that. Because holy shit. I think you need to roll to do that. Yeah, roll on your ridiculously huge charm score to get them to do their actual, just their fucking job. There you go. Ah, incredible. I can't believe you've had to convince the most zealous <laughs> people to do their fucking job. They just okay. really like hanging out in the Calixis sector, all right? Can you tell me exactly what you're saying to them? No, I'm I'm saying that we've we've gotten their message. Uh, we feel like it's important that they have all the facts. Um, so, in an effort to be as transparent as possible with our, our ability to to combat this uh, heretic incursion. Uh, here are uh, what we're uh, here. Here's basically our battle plan. Here are resources. Um, actually, is well, there good no, idea I'm to, not, to I'm not. I'm not talking about the battle. That? I'm not talking about the battle plan. But I'm saying here are our resources. Uh, we uh, we will do our very best uh, to stop this from going any further. Um, and if if they based on this information send um send troops to help with uh, with the uh, incursion itself or just inquisitors to um to purge the planet from chaos once uh we've possibly succeeded if they deem our uh, if if they deem our chance to succeed in this war high enough then just send inquisitors if they feel that, uh, based on based on the resources we have mentioned, that we should have um, that uh, we should have some backup, then send that. And uh, mention that there's someone off planet supplying them with things. Yeah, there is a chaos presence in the sector, cl exactly. this close to footfall. They should probably yeah. do something about it. Yeah, and they should I come also, inquisit yeah. things. And I, of course, also mentioned that we will, of course, in an effort uh, to fight chaos and be as transparent as possible, we will, of course, be sending this missive to to other parts of uh, our house and our uh, closer um, 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 partners. You know who we should ask for help? Von Grimm. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to, but now that I've spent five profit factor, I don't want to give him any. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, well, no, just ask him to come help, and then you'll show up to the next animal fight, because otherwise you're going to be here for the next 40 years. Could at least warn him about the chaos. Y yeah, I get... Like, where is he? If I send him a message to He's him... close by. He's probably no, I, I know his planet is close by, but yeah. that doesn't mean he's there. But I, I'll, I'll, so I'll send a message. He probably goes back to it all the time, and if you left him a message... To, to be fair, the captain it. is almost never at Sigmund Folly. Yeah, but that's also not his yeah, home base home. of operations. Home is, is his and, even, no, but... and even then, we do go to it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like, like every I think three months. So I, I would like assume usually. that von, I would assume that von Grimm is on his main ship because. That's where I am most of the time. No, so, but no, like, 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 he, he, like, yeah, like he even said, that, like, that's weird of you that you hang out on a uh, ship. Yeah, longer. yeah. And even course. if he is, you send a message to his yeah. base of fresh plant, and then they send a message to him. Yeah, of if course. He's not like, there. I'm, 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 like, like, I'm not saying just let's not a message send a to message. His planet, it's good. I'm just saying just we, his... let's send a message and figure out where he is, what resources he have, he has at his disposal. He's got a planet full of fighting animals. <laughs> Just fucking drop them on him. Release yeah. the apes. Yeah. Apes with knives attached. Mm hmm. I think that'd be some good shit. Yeah, send a message to Von Grimm's rest. It's where he rests, and his name's Von Grimm. He's imaginative. <laughs> send a message to Coffee Planet, see how they're doing. <laughs> no, I don't want to give you any. Well, I don't, I don't actually care about you having pain tokens, nor do I know about it, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but it's expensive to send messages to Coffee Planet because Coffee Planet guy is just gonna be like, "Oh, you want help? Okay." He's, he's like, I'm you. dying. Now pay me. I'm dying. There's a uh, surge charge of uh, accepting any messages of one profit factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this fucking reverse charge, motherfucker. Uh, the Horrible. Inquisition says that they will begin preparation on sending a ship to oversee the planet. Oversee, okay. huh? Good, that means that you're only going to get half the profit factor now as they claim half of it when they arrive. Well, well, to be fair, I, that might be something that the captain is worth spending on if it means that there's no chance of chaos incursions on this planet in the future. Because the worst would having to like to take over this planet and then a year later chaos rises up again and he has to come deal with it. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're not getting that profit factor back anytime soon. We'll see. It's, it's going to be the investment. Wait for it to well, I mean, if it's if it's if it's an investment to start up, why well, we are assuming a lot here, but let's keep assuming a lot. If if we have to spend the if the profit factor would then be spent, if if the if burning the profit factor means that we have we would have a colony on dirt, then uh, that's still a pretty decent uh, investment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like if you didn't get the presence. Huh? Yeah, I don't that's... like that there's something in space that we haven't been able to detect before. Like, no. I almost say, like, if we can track it down, that that's what we hit first. Because if it's yeah, a ship like or something? Do. The problem is that if it's not near this, like, if it's, I don't know, over at, like, uh, Gallant, then we would never be able to find it anyway. Yeah. If it's in a different sector, we have, there's no way for us to find I it. I thought it was huh? nearby. It's just well, somewhere out in it space. It might be nearby later on, because that's kind of what it was implied, right? Oh, I thought no, I thought he said it was we would meet it nearby, and I didn't... Yeah, what we would meet exactly? it well, in space, that? nearby. N n nearby in space is also relative. Yeah, and I it mean, doesn't mean that it's nearby in like, space nearby, currently. I wouldn't consider it nearby. Like, if we jumped to them, and it took us six months in the warp, and it's like, oh, well, that was worth it. Or it might be some something waiting in the warp. That's nearby. That's fun. It's probably not happening. Uh, also, goodbye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye.